Hi, you guys. It's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. I have things kind of spread out all over the place. Um, I've been trying to play with some envelopes um, for the last little bit, and I have one prepared totally to kind of put together. Oh, almost. Let me grab something. This is going to be one of those videos where... You're going to have to watch me, you know, sew a button on and that sort of thing. So I just had to get up and grab that real quick. Okay. So what I've done, um, there was a video that Shabby Dab, Tina, Shabby Dabby Duda did a while back. And I'll link it below where she was decorating envelopes and I just thought that it looked really fun and I wanted to give it a try. So we're going to do that. And um, I, I just re-watched the first of the videos to see what she had done because all I could remember was that I really liked them but I couldn't remember exactly what they look like. And of course mine's not going to look like hers because you know, nothing ever looks like the person you're imitating, does it? Isn't that weird? You're like, oh, I love that. I want to make one. And then it turns out completely different, which is good, um, in my opinion. So, okay, so what I did so far on this one is I stamped some script and then I did some, I don't know if you can see it, but I did some very light pink. It's kind of like a sparkly pink. It's this. Pink shimmer. And I don't know where I found it. Yard sale or thrift store because I've had it for a really long time. Um, but that's what that is. And then let's see. I have a piece cut to go on the inside also. How do I want it? Yeah, I think that was right. I just wanted the script to be in the right direction. Okay, so I'm going to Add a little bit of glue just sort of down here on the paper. I'm just getting some glue down in there and then I'm going to put glue here. That's one of the hardest things for me is getting glue poked down into an, um, a glued paper poked down into an envelope. So we'll see if this is going to work for us. Hopefully I'm not holding it in place where I put glue already down in there for too long. I probably am. This is glue that doesn't dry totally immediately. So, you know, you can move it around for a little while. So that's okay. And I did have a paper towel, but I got it wet. And then we're going to go ahead and trim this. Okay. I like to use an, um, a, a ruler to try and get the fold back where it's supposed to be. Uh, it's a really thin ruler. I don't know if it would work with a very, very thick one, but I think it works okay that way. Okay, so what I'm thinking on this is that it would attach to um, a page in a journal 
and open like this. So I wanted this to be lined. And then we'll go ahead and stamp this a little bit. Now, let's see if I can remember what I used. What did I use? Um, oh, see now, it's called Soft Rose. And I don't know if it's because the stamp that I was using has color on it and I just cannot get a good pink to come off of it. I keep trying to clean it and um, it seems like whatever still comes out brown, even though I've cleaned it a lot. Um, but that's okay. I mean, oh, brown is fine. I don't mind that. All right. So what I did to get sort of a since it's on a block, you know, I can't push down the center of it and only get the center. So what I did was I tore some pieces of paper to cover where I don't want it to hit. I'm going to get my decorations all mixed up because I'm making such a little mess here. I think I'll go like that. And then I just kind of went in the center. We'll see how this one turns out. And I want it to be like um, Tina when she did it. It was kind of a hit and miss sort of a thing. Hers had been coffee dyed or, you know, she had sprayed it. So it made them kind of warped. And so when she would use her stamp, it would kind of hit some places and miss others. But that actually looked good. So we will take, now I did the really pale pink on this, but I think on this side, maybe I will try this. And I've already cleaned this off. So we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a pretty color. So I'm not sure. I've just got too much ink, I guess, embedded in that, that stamp. It doesn't want to um, take. There we go. That's pretty. I think it's a nice color. We'll do one down here. There we go. That's really pretty, you guys. I like it. Okay, so let's close this one. So I've most of my inks I have found at thrift stores or yard sales, and I've been pretty lucky with them not being um, all dried up. And then I always figure if they are all dried up, I'm like spending a dollar, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I take my chances. I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm just getting that stamp out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and put down the things. I have a little bit of thread on a needle already because I, I, I was doing something with a button the other day. So I've got one ready to go. And if I remember right, I'm just, I just made a little cluster of fabrics. And 
this is a little thing that I got in um, like a little happy mail from it was winnings and a happy mail I guess from Dale at not too shabby chic is that I think that's what I wanted I don't know I feel like this needs to come over a little bit down I don't have a lot of pinks I love pink but I really don't have a lot okay so we're gonna go ahead and if I can manage to pick it up we're going to sew that button on. A lot of times when I'm doing this, I'm using um, some of my old cross stitch needles. So the this needle head is not very sharp. <laughs> so sometimes it's kind of hard to get it to go through the fabrics. There's like a point, but not a sharp point. Okay. Oh, it missed. Well, no, that's okay. I don't know that it missed. It just... I'm wiping the top of my glue gun off. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of glue here to catch that one. center here for this one and then I'll just put some glue down for this one Fun little thing there. I've used quite a few of them. Thank you, Dale. I really like those. I might even use another button. I don't. I don't know that I will do that right this minute. Or maybe some pearls. Or some bling. Let's go ahead and get this down. Let's kind of ink up the parts that are white in the background. Okay, so I don't remember really where I had this stuff, I feel like. Maybe it was like that. Maybe. If it works for me. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this. having cold weather it's like well I mean we've got a little bit of snow and it's staying a lot of times it'll snow and melt you know the same day but it's still here so it's around it's the high 20s I guess but it was a really slippery snow that fell you know snow 
if you're not somebody that lives around snow, it, every snowfall seems to be a little bit different. Sometimes it's a really slippery snow. Sometimes it's a really powdery snow, which is not usually a slippery, um, all kinds of things. But yesterday it was a slippery snow. And I had to go into town, unfortunately. Um, but everything was fine. I didn't, you know, get hit or anything. But it was, you know, close. At one point I stopped at a stoplight and, well, I, I attempted to, but luckily I was only going about five miles an hour because the road looked icy. You know, like I, I was going, is that slushy or is that icy? It was icy. Oh my goodness. So I started pumping my brakes so that the guy behind me knew that I was not stopping. And luckily he he realized that. But then there was somebody else on a side road trying to come, you know, in behind me, in between me and the guy that was right behind me. And he was being impatient. And I was like, oh, dude, you are going to cause a wreck. But I was like, I just want to get home so that, you know, I wasn't going to be part of the problem. And also before people were, um, you know, getting off work for the day so that I wasn't in all of that mess because, oh my goodness, no thanks. <laughs> One thing that I've been really fortunate about is that um, I haven't had to drive into town for work since we've lived here. That would have not been good. I don't think I like that. And I've got some little some of these things I've had for quite a while. Nope. And I have I feel like I didn't put the right size gem. That's kind of cute. Let's see. I'm afraid the pearl is going to be really fat. I like the gem, but it's not really the right color of pink. Well, that's cute, I guess. I have some of this stuff, which I like, but it's sticky all over the place. And so you can't necessarily just leave it openly sticky, in my opinion. Maybe we'll do something like that. This is the hard part. Let me see if I can do it this way. I'm just gonna leave the little oozing of glue. This is the stringiest glue, I am telling you. burning my fingers. I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Okay. Mess, mess, mess. Oh my goodness. If you could see it all, you would know. <laughs> okay. So this one would be like that and you can stick stuff in here. I think that's cute. Okay, so let's try another one. Let's move that out of the way. And same idea on this one. Let's go ahead and get this inked and down inside the envelope. I 
haven't fit it in there. I just cut it kind of the same size as the other one, assuming that it would be fine. And it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get the... Hmm. I'm thinking. I just have to avoid glue right on the very edge because it, it doesn't quite fit to the edge. And then I'm just putting one line of glue down in there to hold the paper in place. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I just scoot it to where it needs to be. Come on. All right, well, I can trim that. There's like just a little bit, and that would be like the sticky part of the envelope, which I don't really want. So what I found when I was looking for um, stamps to use to do this is I don't have very many stamps that are not on a block or if they're the is I don't know are they silicone whatever the see-through stamps are I don't know um I don't have any that have like a very large script area or like if there is script it's tiny script or you know just I don't know what I'm trying to say is I discovered I need to buy some more stamps oh darn <laughs> It's a need because, you know, if you can't do the project, you need to buy. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink around the edge. So this one I'm going to do kind of yellowy. So on this one, I'm thinking that I want my flower to go along this edge. And I want to put my stamping more onto this side. Okay. What color had I been using? Kind of that pinkish color. I have... I have... So I have this color. It's Versa Magic. I, I don't know where I got this. Um, sugar Cane is the color. And I've st I stamped it a couple of times trying to get the color, you know, more true. Um, so we're going to see. I don't know. I'm just trying to clean it off a little bit and dry it. So one of the things that I've found that I I don't know much about is all of the different inks. It seems like every ink pad I own is different. And now I get the Distress Oxide and I get the Distress Ink. That I understand. But this one is Chalk Ink. And I don't know what makes it different. I just don't know. But I'm going to stamp off over here on the side just real quick. 
Okay, I think that it's going to come out the way I want it to, I think. I'm going to ink it up really good. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put one of these underneath it. Let me see. I don't need that. And I'm going to put this there. And I'm going to put this here. And I think I'm okay with it. Well, I'll just, I'll just cover it a little bit so that it's not a straight line. That's what I don't want. Okay, I'm going to ink it one more time. the wrong side. I've been inking the wrong side. Are you guys ready? I hope it shows up. I'm pushing really hard. <laughs> It barely showed up, but it's okay. It showed up some. It's pretty. I think. Okay. So I'll get this out of the way. And then I have... Oh. And I don't know if this has to go back on it again. I'm gonna... Characteristics. It's opaque. Permanent powder finish on dark papers. Oh, that's exciting. Color fast dries in all times. Drying times vary. Do not migrate. Okay. Well, anyway. <clears throat> so I have... Is this what I wanted to use? Probably not. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. So I have this. Um, and I bought it at a yard sale and they had used, I think, gold paint on it, but it still works really well, actually. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to ink off real quick and make sure it's what I want. Yep. Or stamp off. Okay. So I'm just going to do like, like, like this. I think it's a really pretty stamp. And then I'm gonna do one up in the other corner. Try to stamp off a little bit. I remember wearing, this just never occurred to me, the brushed corduroy, duh. I remember wearing corduroys that looked like that when I was a kid. I guess that's what they're talking about, right? <laughs> I'm slow, guys, I'm slow. That one's a little different. The other end is just a little different, but that's okay. I still like it. And all right, get this out of the way. Well, for a second, I need to do the other side, but it's not dry yet. Okay, let's ink this. Try to get all those little white spaces kind of filled in a little bit. Again. So what I was going to do, I need, I don't like the sewing that somebody did on this one. Oh, 
I don't know how long ago that was, but I don't like it. These are sharp, so I'm trying to be careful on this part. <gasps> Ouch, doggone it. I'm trying. Yeah, I got myself. Hold on, I have to stop it. I don't want to get blood on anything. Don't worry, I'll wipe it again. I won't let blood get on anything. My goodness. There. Okay, um, the thread, which I think I have sitting out here somewhere. You guys think that I'm organized and I try to be organized during my videos so that you guys don't go forget this. I'm just turning the channel. <laughs> yeah, there's somewhere, somewhere on my desk is some thread and I cannot find it. So we'll pull out another one. Maybe you guys can see it. I just, I cannot see it. Okay, we'll just use this whole thing. But, but the needle I see, which is weird, silly. Okay. Okay, so um, my thoughts on this one is I just have this little piece of lace and this little piece of fabric and I am gonna glue the, or sew the button onto it. And I just kind of go through, like, I think there's probably four strands of the DMC um, thread on here. I'm sure I used it cross-stitching on something. So it's not like the full six strands. So I'm going through it twice. Okay. All righty, there's that. I was thinking, but it covers that up. Maybe I'll go down a little bit. And then I have a little butterfly. That's cute. I was thinking about adding like a little bit of um, lace going down the side, but I don't know if I actually, if I have a good one for it. Um, just kind of a thin one. Yeah, that's pretty. I might as well, right? Let's see. I don't necessarily want to use the hot glue, but I'm, I think I'm going to. I'll go part of the way. 
I don't know. I have a weird feeling about this hot glue. I feel like it's a little different. So it seems to not want to stay melted as long. That did okay though. getting it off my fingers. Okay, so I think that what I'll do is use, if I can get it out, yep, it's good. I think I'm gonna use the art glitter glue since it's gonna be touching this just a little bit. I do have one more and the next one's going to be a little bit different so if you're not bored to death yet try to stick around Let's see I don't want it to hang too far off just kind of maybe there Okay, so I have this, I have this, I have this. That's a little bit. Okay, ink. I do like the butterfly wings sticking up, but I'm just afraid they're gonna, it's not like a real heavy paper. I'm afraid it's gonna just get hurt if I try to leave it. So same idea on this. I have not done the stamping on the inside. And now there are things, but you know, actually that might make it kind of cool. Let's just see. Where did I put? We're just gonna give it a try and whatever happens, happens. It's okay. And I used this. The um, distress oxide would probably work pretty well on it too, but that's okay. We'll just do it the same. Okay, so yeah, the button's probably definitely gonna be in the way, but we'll just see what happens. So it turned out like that, and I think that's fine. You can do a little bit down here. I'm 
Let's see. I think we'll try like this. Hold that down. Hopefully I'm lining it up okay. I don't know if I'm lining it up okay. Yep, that's good. That's pretty. I want to put one like in here, but I don't want it to look the same. So I'm just not going to. I'm going to leave it just like that. I do think these turn out really, really pretty and it'll be fun little flip outs for a journal. Okay, so I'm going to put that one off to the side. We have one more. See if I can get everything kind of situated a little bit. I do need to clean this off. So I just keep um, some paper plates in my craft room and I use them to kind of clean off my stamps. But of course, um, and well, I use the paper towels sometimes for quite a while. So I'll just let them sit and dry. And since I generally stamp with just browns and blacks, it's no big deal. But right now trying to use different colors, yeah, it make, makes it kind of dirty. And then I just keep one for drying. On the next one, I'm thinking to use the Victorian Velvet Distress Oxide. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just love that color. Love it. Um, but I'm gonna have to make sure. Alrighty, so do I want, okay, I'm gonna do just a very light amount of edging on it because I want the pink to show up. And then just a very light amount kind of everywhere. I'm standing up right with my mouth right next to my phone, so if it's really loud, that's why. Okay, I'll go ahead and All right, so for this one, I'm not too concerned about the bottom part. It's gonna be covered. this off a couple of times. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and stick this down here just so that I'm not stamping on the black too much. I'm going to see what happens over here on my scrap piece of paper. Oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah, and I'm doing it upside down. good ab workout. Yes, I love, love, love this color. Isn't that pretty? All right. This one... that you put on your finger with that color. I want to go around the edges with it. I, I mean, absolutely. I don't know if you guys remember me using this in the past, but I was just like, I want to do my makeup with it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I need to stamp the um, inside also, the other side. going to be, it's going to be a flip up. So I want this to go a long video. Kind of moved. Hopefully didn't move so much that it makes it look weird. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Alright. I'm not sure using that again or not. I don't remember. Okay, so I want to glue this down here. And I'm going to do this part first so that, I don't know. I just thought like, I felt like that's the way I should do it, but now I'm not sure. We'll see if it works out in the end. I don't even really remember. We'll see. It'll be fine be fine. And then I'm just going to glue this. I think that I'm going to put the glue here. It's like a little bit more solid right here. So pretty. This stuff is from Hobby Lobby, the last time I checked, you could still get it, but you know, that always changes. It's pretty already, isn't it? 
Okay, and then I was gonna put this on it and cut off the stuff that's sticking up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it now so I don't, you know, put glue there and just make a mess. Sometimes with these flowers, I have a really hard time deciding which direction they go in. Does, is it that way for you guys? I'm going to get rid of some more of this green because I don't like it. It's like kind of a, it doesn't just, it doesn't go. Nothing wrong with it necessarily, but it doesn't go in my opinion. more glue than necessary, but that's okay. Okay. And I have this. Um, and I'll leave the whole thing on there. I just need to ink around it. Looks like I need to add some glue, huh? I will probably, when we're done, I think I'm going to put Fabri-Tac right in this area um, because the, I don't want to deal with the hot glue right there, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, so then here, this is what I'm thinking. I was thinking to glue it on here so that it's a pocket that lifts up and opens up. So it'd be a pocket this way, like, you know. Let me go ahead and ink around it. I should have done this one first so that, you know, if anybody wanted to not be here, cause like, I really like this one. If I wanted you guys to see one, I think this is the one I would have preferred you to see. So, you know, why don't I just show you last? <laughs> so once you're all bored to death and gone. So you guys, I have still been working in my craft room, just working on things and I'm enjoying it. Now I still have gotten to the point on a couple things. It's like, um, kind of like where you hit a wall and you're like, okay, my creativity when it comes to that is done. And so I've just had to, you know, move on and, and work on something else. And so that's what I've been doing and it's fun. And as I'm doing it, I'm thinking about, you know, what kind of journal to do next and... I don't know. I, I have things in my head. I need to go and look for papers on Etsy to see if that inspires me a little bit to make a decision. I think I'm just gonna gently add a little bit more around the corners. Try not to get it too dark. This is not an easy thing to do. I don't know if it is for you guys, but certainly not for me. And then I'm just going to put a little in the center. And then we'll glue this. Is 
that the stuff I was looking for? Or no, I don't know. Okay, so I just want to give it enough room so that I can still very easily, well, I want it to be centered also, so I hope I can still move it. Okay, so the pocket looks like this, and you can open it like this, and you can write in here and close it back down again. I think it's really pretty. I like it. Okay, so there, you guys, those are the things that we made today. I think they turned out really pretty. Hope you like them. Thanks for watching, and I will link um, Tina Eshabi Abiduda's video below that inspired me. Thanks for watching. Bye.